Good day dear chess lovers, Soren here and in today's video I want to share with you a very interesting game where this time it's the defense, it's the super solid defense which decides the outcome of the game. On the white side is Israeli chess grandmaster Emil Sutovsky, who as you know currently since 2018 is the FIDE general director and his opponent is Armenian chess grandmaster Zaven Andreasian. This game is from 2007 Aeroflot Open. Sudovsky opened up with e4 to which Andreasian answered with his favorite Sicilian defense. A sharp opening which is never boring and leads to a complicated battle. d4, an open Sicilian is on the board and with a6 black is entering the complex and at the same time well analyzed lines of knight or variation. Bishop c4, in the style of Fischer Sozin attack, white is developing the kingside bishop, is putting it on c4 from where it can put a useful pressure on black's kingside. But this is different, this is called Lipnitsky attack, although uh, it can transpose. Bishop g5, knight c5, f4, bishop e7. At the moment, nothing special, both players are following a well trodden path. White castled king side, but anyways, with active b5, black is going for a queen side expansion. a5, the position is starting to heat up. Yes, why not? White is looking for a quick attack, and actually everything is ready for it, right? White has already developed all his pieces, has castled, connected his rooks, and why not? f5 is on the board, and with b4, Black is attacking white knight, but in here, instead of thinking about moving this knight, for example, instead of a move like knight a4, white made a very aggressive f takes e6 move. On move 13, he's sacrificing the knight on c3. It's not like that this is a novelty. Earlier, this move had already been seen, and quite possibly this is a well-prepared line by Sutovsky. But the interesting thing is that after f takes e6, I searched up in my chess based database, and guess what? Uh, it was only this game where black managed to prevail, you know? We have several draws, and in the other games, white confidently won. Let's see how is this madness going to end up. Andreasen accepted the uh, peace sacrifice, and white's e pawn reaches the 7th rank. King f8, rook a e1. Seems like that this is the first mistake in the game. Stockfish suggests e5. But we will come back to this uh, once I finish the game. Let's first go through this game quickly and then I will turn on Stockfish and we will cover the sidelines together. After rook a e1, black hurried to get rid of this light squared bishop which is protecting the pawn and now cold-heartedly black can win the pawn on f7, but first we have c takes b2, later this passed pawn on the second rank can be very useful. King h1, rook b8, both players made important prophylactic moves, with rook b8 in future Andreasian prevented discovered attacks from the long diagonal. Bishop h6, an interesting looking, but at the same time already this is too much. At the cost of a bishop sacrifice, white is managing to break into pieces opponent's king's side, weaken further, but it's not like that you can make use of it. Now, Andreasen will put a tough resistance. Bishop takes f5, an attacking piece is removed, he takes f5, knight f6. Black has two extra pieces, right? But still, white is looking for ways of targeting opponent's king. Rook b5, g4, and finally it's time to remove the pawn from f7. Queen takes h6, queen c6 check, and now it's black who is starting a counter attack. King g1, rook g8, hitting on g4. But uh, bishop d8 is also something worth of taking into consideration. In the game we have rook g8, g5, queen c5 check, king h1. Queen d5 check, king g1, and with his next move, Andreas enforced a resignation. Can you find black's next move? Ready? Here we go. In here, Andreas played queen takes f5 and forced a resignation. A very, very nice way of finishing up the game, right? If you 
accept the queen sacrifice then a new queen can born on b1 and then for example rook takes g5 and this is how black can win that's why yeah after queen takes f5 white capitulated and i would like to suggest to go through the game while stalkfish is on okay let's go through the game from this move on f takes e6 is angie's first choice here we go black is now accepting the p sacrifice instead of f takes e6 black is boldly going for b takes c3 he takes f7 check knight f5 was an alternative right he takes f7 check king f8 and rook e1 seems like that this is a serious mistake after which black is gaining advantage a better move was playing e5 opening up the queen's diagonal let's take a quick look how this can end if d takes e5 then queen takes a8 if here then rook takes f6 a complex line of course but at the same time a very beautiful one now white is creating a mating thread and if knight takes b3 making the pawn on f7 defenseless then queen d5 again renewing the mating thread if queen takes f7 then check and then bishop takes f6 removing the defender and penetrating the seven rank this is an interesting line with an accurate play of course white can hold white can give a perpetual check and now if you play king g6 then queen g3 queen b3 can follow that's why black is playing bishop d7 is luring away white queen from that diagonal and only then is playing king g6 and yeah all white can do is to give a perpetual check but uh, Sudowski missed this line played rook a e1 after which very confidently Andreasian proceeded with the defense and then pulled out a counter play king h1 rook b8 another angie's top move by Andreasian although we have a change but yeah again rook b8 popped up rook b8 bishop h6 bishop h6 is too much you know although even if not bishop h6 then what else can you do black has an extra piece and has a very solid position and then yeah the rest is clear we can see that black has a huge advantage and very confidently without any mistakes Andreasian realized the advantage wanna take a look at that queen takes f5 move once again here we go check another check and bang white resigned this is it dear chess lovers hope that you enjoyed the game for those who are playing sicilian this game can be very useful explore it further please and in the end let's solve a simple chess puzzle the task is to win with the white pieces as usual we'll wait for your answer in the comment section thanks for watching i'll see you in my next video